So this is just a daft little quick sort of two, three minute video, just literally for showing the leak of supposedly Windows 11 running RetroArch, just running the classic consoles, not anything high brow um, graphics card wise, only because for, as you've seen on other videos, it doesn't seem to want to load onto real hardware without having to mess about with Unraid and graphics cards and things like that. So this is all just on a virtual machine with obviously graphics card acceleration to use the GPU and machine, but obviously nowhere near as good as it actually should be, but shows that programs work, install, no crashes, all behave as they should do. And obviously as I flip between screens, things actually open up and play as normal. But yeah, so as I say, people are putting up the Windows 11 ones, but from a retro point of view, the retro stuff still works. So we can see what the 24th brings and see if it's all good. See if everyone's going to flock to Windows 11. Jump is, but oh, not one. Ah, died. Yep, I'm not with many games. So yeah, so that was that one. But yeah, it all seems to run and is all good. And obviously, just to prove that that is the case. Windows 11 Pro and obviously once I can get it on more real hardware I'll show off proper emulators running on there for all the retro systems obviously retros and then everything up to sort of 93 obviously nothing past that because that's not what I have but yeah I'll go from there so daft little video just for you to watch just as a little thing running but yeah all in all it's just Windows 11 running what is the retro stuff? Okay. So, hope you enjoyed this daft little video and I'll get a proper video sorted later on in the week. Cheers. Bye.